Hello, fourth graders. Today we're going to talk about double digit multiplication. So I'm going to start by showing you how I learned it when I was in fourth grade using the example 27 times 24. So the people at your house, the adults there, this is how they learned it too. So they might have already shown you this already. You start with the ones, seven times four is 28. So the two's gonna go up here and the eight's gonna go down there. Then you say two times four is eight plus two is 10. So the 10 is gonna go over here. And now you have 108. Now we've only used this four here. So now we need to use this two, which really is a 20. So we were told to just put a zero there. Then you would say, seven times two is 14. So I'm gonna put the one up here, I'm gonna cross out that two, and put the four there for 14. Then I say two times two is four, plus one is five. That's gonna go there for 540. And then we add these together, eight, four, and six. So that's how we learned double digit multiplication. Now I'm gonna show you, using our picture strategy, how that works. So say up here we have 27, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And over here we have 24, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will be 20 and 4. Okay, now I'm gonna separate it out. So in here we have 20 times 20, which is 400. Here we have 20 times seven, 140. Here we have four times 20. And here we have four times seven. And then you would add all of those together. Eight, four, eight plus two is 10 plus four is 14. One plus four plus one is six, 648. Now, this way, going to this way, there's a step in between that I can show you another strategy. So if I have 27 and I leave a space and then I write 24 down here, I'm going to start by saying 20 times 20. So I'm going to draw a line right here that shows I'm taking this 20 and this 20 and I'm going to multiply those together and I'm going to write it underneath here. 20 times 20, which equals 400. Okay, now I'm going to take this seven and multiply it by this 20 down here. So I'm gonna draw a line connecting it like that. So we have this 20 times seven, which equals 140. Okay, now I'm gonna take this 20 and multiply it by this four. I'm gonna draw a line showing that I've done this one 20 times four. Two times four is eight, so attach the zero. And then I have one more I need to do over here, seven times four. Okay, so here you can see that this, these numbers here match up with the numbers in these boxes here. The 400, the 140, the 80, and the 28. So, Moving on in your math workbook, they're gonna show you this strategy here. You already have learned this one here, and this one you might have learned from the adults at home. So you choose what you are most comfortable with, which one feels best for you, and use that one. Okay, that's it for today. Email me with any questions. Hope you're well, bye.